The Cane Bottom Chair by William Makepeace Thackeray, who lived from eighteen eleven to eighteen sixty three. Read for LibriVox dot org by Alan Chant on the third of march two thousand and seven. In tattered old slippers that toast at the bars, and a ragged old jacket perfumed with cigars, Away from the world and its toils and its cares, I've a snug little kingdom up four pair of stairs. To mount to this realm is a toil, to be sure, But the fire there is bright, and the air rather pure, And the view I behold on a sunshiny day Is grand through the chimney-pots over the way. This snug little chamber is crammed in all nooks With worthless old knick-knacks and silly old books, and foolish old odds, and foolish old ends, Cracked bargains from brokers, cheap keepsakes from friends, Old armour, prints, pictures, pipes, china, all cracked, Old rickety tables, and chairs broken-backed, A tuppenny treasure, wondrous to see. What matter? Tis pleasant to you, friend, and me. No better divan need the sultan require Than the creaking old sofa that basks by the fire, And tis wonderful, surely, what music you get from the rickety ramshackle wheezy spinet. That praying rug came from a Turkoman's camp. By Tiber once twinkled that brazen old lamp. A marmaluke fierce yonder dagger has drawn. Tis a murderous knife to toast muffins upon. Long, long through the hours and the night and the chimes Here we talk of old books and old friends and old times. As we sit in a fog made of rich latter key, This chamber is pleasant to you, friend, and me. But of all the cheap treasures that garnish my nest, There's one that I love and I cherish the best, For the finest of couches that's padded with hair, I never would change thee, my cane-bottomed chair. Tis a bandy-legged, high-shouldered, worm-eaten seat, With a creaking old back and twisted old feet. But since the fair morning when Fanny sat there, I bless thee and love thee, old cane-bottomed chair. If chairs have but feeling in holding such charms, A thrill must have passed through your withered old arms. I looked and I longed and I wished in despair, I wished myself turned to a cane-bottomed chair. It was but a moment she sat in this place. She'd a scarf on her neck and a smile on her face, A smile on her face and a rose in her hair, And she sat there and bloomed in my cane-bottomed chair. And so I have valued my chair ever since, Like the shrine of a saint or the throne of a prince. Saint Fanny, my patroness sweet, I declare the queen of my heart and my cane-bottomed chair. When the candles burn low, and the company's gone, In the silence of night as I sit here alone, I sit here alone, but we yet are a pair. My Fanny I see in my cane-bottomed chair, She comes from the past and revisits my room, She looks as she then did, all beauty and bloom, So smiling and tender, so fresh and so fair, And yonder she sits, in my cane bottomed chair. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.